teach with fly fish food here, we're going to talk about hook and bead organization because we have a solution. Fly fish food. Okay, so um, I tie a lot of flies. Uh, we travel quite a bit to do events and demos and everything. And I remember one time we had flown somewhere and I was tying little midges and I literally found some size 30 midge hooks in my underwear. And it was because I had terrible hook organization. I tried to keep them in little plastic containers and you know nothing really would keep them secure. And so kudos to Hairline, they came up with this, the Fly Tires Pop Top Stash Box. Yes, I read it right off the back of the box. But anyway, we got these in. I, I took one right away and I kind of messed around with it a little bit. Um, but the other day I really got it dialed in and I have my setup set up. So we're going to give you a rundown on the one of the most efficient ways to use this thing. Uh, the other thing, I was taking this out to my truck today and I dropped it from about waist high, hit the corner and I'm thinking there are going to be tungsten beads everywhere and nothing happened. The pop or the top didn't come open none of the beads came out so I was sold. Okay so this box is really awesome. I have a whole bunch of other organization boxes and I took a bunch of my hooks and beads out of those and I put them into this. Um, so when you open it up it, it, double, it clasps down on both sides so like I said I dropped it and it didn't come open um, and it has 43 different slots so on the bottom of it is a, is a foam that keeps these containers completely um, stable in their own spot and it comes with larger sized pods for larger beads and hooks or hooks that you tie a lot with down to the smaller sized pods for smaller beads or smaller hooks. So the way that I do this is I'll just put say these are my Hannock 400 size 8's but the way that I do this is I just write on it with a sharpie because if you just take a little bit of hand sanitizer and put that on your sharpie, kind of rub that around a little bit, then take a little paper towel, you can wipe that right off and write whatever else you want on there. So you don't have to get a label maker so I can put I can put whatever I want on there and then erase the evidence that anything was even there. I'm going to leave that one just like it is now though. So anyway um, so I know what you're thinking with all these different colors what if you have like three pink beads on the bottom of this and you need to get to those well, there's a couple ways to, to go about that. So if I were to pop this one open, take this out, say I'm going to tie with a 4 mil bead and a size 12 Hannock hook. I'd open those both up and this doesn't have to stay near my desk. And then I have this hook bowl caddy um, from Hairline as well. And I could either take this little magnet vice pawn from Loon and I could take some hooks out or beads out like this and, and uh, put them on there or I could just dump out the whole thing and then I can come in here and pick out whatever I want. Same thing with the hooks. Okay, So with the hooks I like to grab the, the vice pawn and put those back in the, the container. That's probably the easiest way with the hooks and then sometimes with the beads where I, I can only get about that many of the tungsten beads on there and yes tungsten technically isn't magnetic. There's something else in these beads that makes them magnetic, but the Hannock beads are among the heaviest we've tested. So I know what you're thinking there too. Don't get too hung up on that, that they are magnetic. So the other thing that you can do is just pour them all out into your hand and take them and scoop them right back into that container. Just like that. So that's a way to keep all your beads and hooks organized. Um, and try my label maker technique. It's awesome. All right, all this, all this stuff that we used for this video is in the link in the description. 
You can get it all at store.flyfishfood.com.